We never intended your Scarrow controller to do the same for its whole lifetime. We basically envision that your controller will outlive your equipment, ideally, that your RCP will survive when you change your camera. So we developed the Unisketch operating system and the whole vision about the device cores, which are like apps you can install on your controllers, and then they would change which device they could control and communicate with. And so we have done with the RCP. So while traditionally it has been working with Blackmagic cameras, we are constantly improving it by adding support for already Visca cameras. You can shade uh, all existing Visca cameras basically, but in particular stuff like Sony BSE X1000 and so forth. In this video, I would like to introduce to you the Ari Amira camera because we are developing support for it. It's not finished yet, but we have taken the first steps to support the features in this great and supremely pro professional camera. Um, it works over the uh, Sony Symbol camera protocol and it's pretty cool because it has an Ethernet plug on the side so it's really easy to hook up with an Ethernet based RCP like this. Okay, so um, what I want to share with you are the first steps in integrating with this camera and uh, you can watch out for more videos where we will show how this development progresses when we have even more of the features in the camera to uh, to show you and um, that's probably coming in a in a month or so we'll see but uh, first let's look at what we have right here the uh, Ari a mirror camera right here it's connected with Ethernet to a network switch and here you have the Ethernet connection to the RCP okay so um, I don't know if there's much more to say about that uh, apart from let's zoom in on the RCP and look at some of those features we have already implemented. So one thing that made me consider should I show this on video yet or shouldn't I is the fact that the lens we have on the camera doesn't actually support adjusting iris from the RCP. So it's not really our efforts to integrate into the protocol that's the problem, it's the lens because um, it just won't do anything but manual iris adjustment. So what I did was to hook up the um, the RCP um, iris joystick to the shutter speed. And what I want to show you, which is really amazing, not so much because of our controller, but more the Amira camera, is look at the shutter speed. You have a so fine-grained shutter speed on this camera. It's really awesome. You see now we have 1 uh, to 238. Crazy. And basically it kind of works as iris adjustment on this video. So uh, here you just see one example that I'm adjusting the shutter speed uh, using the iris joystick. I can of course do the same if you look at the knobs here you see the values that we are sending for the um, electronic shutter. You can also see the gain. So if you watch for the gain which is uh, in the other side of the picture you can see we can adjust the gain. And uh, so here's a funny thing on the Sony simple camera protocol you actually find gain values in dB but the uh, Ari and Mira has decided to uh, map that over to ISO speeds. So I'm setting the ISO speed from the RCP, as you can see. So we also have red gain, blue gain, uh, and green gain here. And uh, if we change the mode over here, we have mapped it over. So we have uh, red pedestal, green pedestal, and blue pedestal in these displays. So uh, of course you can adjust these values. You see in the display clearly what the value is. And you can also see in the picture, in this case, we definitely need to do something about the granularity of the setting because I need to turn this knob quite a lot to see the red pedestal change, if ever. But that's the kind of detail that you will have to live with if you are doing development and watching a um, video coming out this early. Okay, so now you can finally see some red color getting into the picture, okay. Yes, very good. Let's try to reset this. Whoa, that went away. So you hopefully saw a sudden change in the picture. So what I want to show you uh, with, uh, sorry, what I want to share with you um, here at the end of the video is basically how would this be configured? And if you don't know Unisketch, you are really in for a treat because we have such a great interface to do these things. And first of all, you should expect that we will have default configurations for the mirror eventually. But at this point in time, we don't. So what you will see now is the flexibility of Unisketch and the reason why we can offer you all this functionality into any uh, standard controller, basically, that we have in our catalog. So um, 
take a look at this website. It's called um, uh, Cause, and on this website, uh, yeah, okay, let me just quickly start over. So I will find the RCP right here. So this is how a standard RCP looks when you go to CauseScarhoy.com. And here you find a number of configurations. For instance, you find a configuration for uh, SDI uh, and ATEM. This would be for Blackmagic cameras. So let me just show you if I, um, let's go to the iris joystick here on the drawing. If I click the iris joystick, you will see that the iris joystick has been set up to adjust the iris parameter in the Blackmagic camera control protocol. So that's really not so surprising, is it? So if you look at the next parameter, you can see that the camera it's addressing will be based on whatever camera is stored in memory A. Memory A is a memory cell inside. We could also hard code it to camera number one or four or whatever. But the cool thing about choosing memory A is that we can uh, have, in this case, we have a dip switch on the back side, and that dip switch will help us to select camera A. Uh, sorry, the, the right camera number. We could set it to camera three, and then memory A would represent uh, the number three to the system. So we're addressing camera number three. But you can also set it from uh, VSM Studio, for instance, if you're using Lavo, um, Ember Plus protocols, and so forth. Okay, so that's just a few pointers to what these things mean in the configuration. Let's take the knob for Master Black. You see Master Black uh, is, again, camera stored in memory that we're addressing, and it's uh, the parameter called lift in a Blackmagic camera. Now, let's go back to the configuration and just see what happens if I choose the BRC H900. That's one of the Sony uh, Visca cameras. So again, if I go down to the iris joystick, you'll see uh, I am adjusting iris parameter in a Sony BRC H900. Uh, again, the camera is selected based on whatever is stored in that uh, camera selector. That would be the dip switch. And um, this value doesn't really matter, but it would matter if you instead assigned iris selection to a button. Okay. So, for the Amira camera, where do I find these options? Well, what you would have to do is to create a new configuration. So let's try that. We simply say new. And, um, okay, so here we see some developer debug output. Yeah, <laughs> it's really a developer video, isn't it? Right, I have a staging environment. I have uh, whatnot. Okay, so next time I'm going to prepare myself better for these videos. But... Um, what we are going to do with this new configuration is to choose device cores. Then we add another device. And you can see here we have the Ari and Mirror device core. I will select this one. I will save settings. And um, I go to controller configuration again now. Okay, so let's press the iris joystick. And uh, when doing so, we find that there is no configuration for the iris handle yet. Just yet. So what we are going to do now is to open here and you see now we have a set of commands, a set of actions that we can assign to the iris joystick that will address parameters inside the Ari and mirror camera. And of course we choose iris. So I choose iris again. Now we see the memory A and I keep it at memory A because I like the fact that I can use the dip switch on the backside or I could use a button on the RCP to select the camera I'm talking to. Um, so we just keep that setting. And uh, then if I had this assigned to a button, just like I said before, there would be a way to choose the particular iris value that could be sent when you press the button. Not something we want to do with the joystick because it doesn't really make sense. And then the final options I have right here is again uh, relevant if you assign iris to a button. So why would you assign iris to a button? Well, uh, you probably won't when you have an iris a joystick like this one, which sits in a particular uh, position, because then it doesn't make sense that, that uh, any other component than this joystick is associated with iris. That's the only component that can adjust iris. But if iris were handled by encoders or analog components that wouldn't be stuck in a particular mechanical position, then it makes sense. And maybe we'll see why I'm saying this in a few months. Hmm, new products coming out. Okay, so um, let's look at some of the other things I could do. Of course, if I took the master black knob 
And again, I go down here, you can see that I can assign master black to this one. Um, let's look at what I had up here. If I wanted my encoders up here to do um, adjustment of RGB, this and that, then um, oh, let's just move this. You see that I could assign this to do um, white balance. And uh, no, sorry, white balance would be a bad example. Um, so let's take gain. Gain would be a bad example. Why can't I find this? Um, iris mode, no, that's not it. Uh, detail, would it be? I'm not sure. Anyway, white balance color. Ah, that was. Because of course we want to uh, set stuff like Peter Stall and gain, which would be for manual iris adjustment. So, uh, sorry, not manual iris adjustment. Uh, white balance adjustment, sorry. So uh, I would assign pedestal for the red, and then you can see um, green, blue, gain, red, green, blue. So you would basically go through a configuration process where you assign red, green, blue, red, green, blue, uh, gain, and uh, pedestal uh, adjustments to these buttons. And as I said, this would come as a default configuration to you when we are done with this integration. I'm just trying to show you that we are going in depth with all these things. So for instance, if you want to do that manual iris adjustment, you want to have a button on the RCP that will set you up for manual adjustment, or you can choose to go over to automatic adjustment. So this is what we would do with, let's say, um, this button, which is currently called detail. Let's change that to white balance mode, like that. So. Um, now the button is called white balance. Everything is breaking down for me. I need power for my Mac now. What is that about? <clears throat> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, so I look at the configuration for white balance mode and here you will see um, we choose white balance and for camera in memory A, I can now select is it uh, when I press this button, will it select manual mode? I could set it up for preset mode or automatic mode one, automatic mode two, which would be, as far as I remember, um, automatic white balancing, you know, like one push white balance. Anyway, since I just want a single button to do this, instead of having like four dedicated buttons, I prefer that we set it up so that instead we are cycling through. So now you also see the beauty of Unisketch and how we can set up like a button to be cycling through various options. And then this button can be associated with the display. So the display will tell us which white balance mode we are in. Or you can choose an encoder for the same thing. All right, I've been talking enough now and maybe it's too long for such a, uh, intermediate video that just shows that we are intended on keeping this development coming. Uh, but I thought it was so exciting to share with you that we are working with the Amira cameras. We are looking into JVC, Sony, Canon, Panasonic, and um, basically based on feedback coming from you. Because what you will have in a Skahoy RCP is a device that will give you a seamless experience for your operators they will have the same interface, even though you have different cameras out there on your set. Isn't that beautiful?